Hey, what's up, Fugly? Um, uh, any more info on how backstabs are not quite instant? Um, I, I don't... I don't really know how else to describe it. It, it, it's like... Almost instant, but... There's a slight delay to it. Here, I'll see if I can... Kinda show you what I'm talking about here. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. You see how... It was hard to see there, but you see how my character... My character goes into the animation, but the... Um, oh, fuck. So, your player character locks into the backstab animation instantly, but the enemy character doesn't get pulled into the animation instantly. There's, there's a slight delay there. It's, it's kind of weird. So, your character on your end starts the backstab animation, the backstab lock, immediately, but there is a slight delay from when the enemy actually snaps into the lock. Um, and that slight delay is what makes the backstabs feel a little weird and not exactly like Dark Souls 1. That's why people say that there's a slight delay. And um, within that really small window, the opposing player, the enemy target, can potentially avoid the backstab. Like You can whiff it, basically. Like that, right there. Oh my god, that's such good timing. So I started the backstab animation, I got locked in, but the enemy can get out. This is a really, 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 really small window. So it's it's kind of like a hybrid between Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2. It's actually a really cool compromise. Um, so number one, they reduced the range at which you can, or the angles and the, the kind of distance at which you can be backstabbed or backstab other people. Um, and they added this little delay for sucking your opponent in kind of thing, which changes how it works. So hopefully that's kind of a good idea.